Good morning, ladies. Another Mindset Monday for you. Um, today, I want to address cheat meals. Okay, so this is something that is very popular in like the Instagram world and the Facebook world and the whatever. People um, are always talking about like hashtag cheat meal, hashtag whatever. Um, and I want you to change your mindset about how you think of those foods. So um, I don't write cheat meal on my schedule. Um, do I schedule meals that are not in line with my normal nutrition? Yes. And the word that I use is indulgence. Um, I allow myself one meal a week, usually Fridays for pizza, um, as an indulgence, as something that I don't have to cook, I don't have to clean up, you know, we have one pan we have to wash, um, there's, there's not a lot of prep. There's, you know, we have salad, but that's easy. Um, so the, the indulgence to me is that I can eat something that I love. I love pizza. Um, but it's not going to set me back because it's once a week. And, um, the thing that I don't like about cheat meal is the terrible connotation that that has. Um, when I think of things as an indulgence, that's so positive. Like if you're indulging in something like, mm, that just makes you feel like good. Like, mm, I'm getting that. Um, whereas if you're cheating, um, there's so many negative things that go along with cheating. Like you don't want to cheat on your spouse. Like that's awful. You're not going to cheat on a test. You're not going to cheat anything. You don't want to cheat the system. That doesn't have, that doesn't have a positive vibe to it at all. All. So what I really want to encourage you to do um, moving forward is instead of thinking of things as cheat meals or cheat whatever, um, just alter your mindset and have it be an indulgence. So you get one indulgent meal a week, right? So maybe you pick Fridays, maybe you pick Saturdays, maybe you and your husband really like to go out for dinner. So maybe once a week you go out for dinner and you have an indulgent meal. Um, and then the next day you are up and you're back on track on Sunday morning. Um, but I, I think that mindset is really important when it comes to building healthy, sustainable change. And, um, you don't want to cheat yourself. You're not going to cheat on something that's important to you. You're not going to cheat on someone that's important to you. So, um, so don't cheat on yourself. Don't think of it that way. You, we need balance. We need to have a moment or two every now and again, where we really just like let go, you know, and that's what pizza on Fridays is for me. It's a time where I just like exhale the week. You know, we don't have to deal with next week yet. We're just, you know, we're just going to have a minute. Um, and, and that's a positive thing for me. That's not, that's not something that I look at as setting my goals on the back burner. It's something that I need so that the rest of the week I can stay on track. Um, so I want you to look at your indulgent meals that way as a way, um, that you, it's, it's a little piece. It's like a little chip that you get, um, when you have been on track all week and to help propel you into another awesome week of great decisions. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Does that maybe comment below if you get what I mean? Um, because I really, I really want us to, to be building these, these lifestyle changes as a lifestyle, right? We don't, we're not on a diet. This isn't a diet. So there's no reason, um, you know, being, it's good to be all in with things, but it's not good to be obsessed. So, to prevent that feeling, we need to have like a minute where we can really just like, you know, enjoy something that we love. Um, enjoy something that isn't autumn approved, you know? Um, and it's okay. It's okay once a week to have that. So if you, like if ice cream is your thing, if that is like your hardest thing for you to give up um, when you're trying to be healthy, make Saturday afternoon your time to have ice cream. That's the one time a week you get it. And if you've had a different cheat, like if maybe you picked up something out to eat on your way home on Thursday night, then that means you don't get the ice cream on Saturday. Um, but, but by having that to look forward to on Saturday, my guess is you won't go out to eat on Thursday night. You'll come home, you'll make the food that you've already prepped. And then on Saturday, you will appreciate that indulgence so much more. 
um, and then you'll look forward to having a healthy week the rest of the week. All right? So mindset shift, no cheating, only indulging. All right? Talk to you later.